Whew. <laughs> yeah, it's party time. Yeah, because everybody dies. Oh. Welcome back to Game of Thrones in review with us, the Neuro Underground guys. I am one of your hosts, David Faria, and joined by my good friend. Jonka. Yeah, that's right. And we're here to review episode five, known as the Bells. 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 Hell's, Hell's bells. bells. Nice. Right, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's the only laughing matter we could have right now. Yeah, I know, right? Well, guys, let's dive right into it. Of course, first and foremost, spoilers. We're not going to hold back, not one little bit, not for a designated time or nothing. We're mm -hmm. just going to talk about the, what the fuck we just watched. Watched it twice now for myself. Mm -hmm. Drunk uh, a little just, late just to the game. Just watched it, you know, but uh, let's talk about what we just saw. Well, I do need to make one note. We've been doing these reviews directly after watching them. Yeah. So, of course, we're kind of coming off as on a high. Yeah. So, a lot of our pre previous ones, we were like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh that was amazing. Oh, oh. So, well, to be fair, there's I mean, a lot that happens when you come yeah. for rewatching, and when you jump on the Reddit <laughs> and start noticing the things that, you know, minor details, and we're not even talking about the damn yeah, no, cup. No, no, like Starbucks cup. I the, saw it that episode, but I thought it was a candle, because I was like, that's, <laughs> that's an unlit candle at the dinner table. In my head, that's what it processed. Someone I, blew it up by accident. Yeah, I figured as much. I, I, swear, I was looking at her. No, and they even uh, digitally removed it later. Yeah, man, it cost them a lot of money to there, do that. Uh, I will mention when we get to it, there is one part that they're probably going to have to go in and digitally redo right. in the episode we just watched. Yeah. But, just to follow up on what I was saying, is it's like, I can really see where everybody's complaints, which are very, very merited, mm -hmm. uh, really ha draws the line. We all were on board for the first two episodes. They were great. They were good build up and good, 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 really good moments and all that. And here is a, probably the best reason. Mm -hmm. First episode, not written by David or Dan. Mm -hmm. It was by. Uh, you know, I'm spacing on the name and I'm not going to hang up on it. But the second episode, not written by David and Dan. Mm -hmm. Written by Brian Cogman. All right. Oh, the first one, Dave Hill. Oh, yeah. Okay. Dave Hill. Which he didn't die in that same episode. He was the one who took the axe to the head from uh, Theon's rescue mission to get Yara. Yeah. Episode three, which was The Long Night. Mm -hmm. Episode four, Last of the Starks. And now episode five, The Bells. Mm -hmm. All of which written by David and Dan. Yep. So we can see that very obvious line. And we can backtrack and think about, you know, the battle strategically. You're like, WTF, mate. Yeah, I know, right? And a lot of other moments where you... And, of course, you thought this series would be bookend with the White Walker stuff, right? Yeah. Everyone thought that. I thought that. So, you know, third episode being the big battle that everybody was bragging about before even it came out. They're like, oh, it took us 55 days to do this. Five weeks of night shoots. To get this battle done. And yet they didn't brag about another big battle. Like mm -hmm. King's Landing. Well, no, right. Now we know why. Because it wasn't a battle. It was just a fucking massacre. It was just a straight up des destruction. So you're you're hot out of the oven with this episode. Tell us what, what, what you're thinking right now. What you feeling. I am loving it. Oh. <laughs> yes. I'm probably like one of the few people that are like, oh my god. No, no, I'm not one of those people actually. No, uh, I'm like, yes, this is what I'm here for. I'm following my boy. Mm -hmm. You know. Wait, which one's your boy? Oh, what? We we all know who my boy is. It's Grey Worm, all right? <laughs> Grey Worm has been our boy since the very beginning, man. <laughs> From the very get-go, when we learned who his name was, we are like, all right, he's the dude that never has a shield. Yeah. He badass. He's badass. Yep, that's my boy right there, okay? And, I mean, I know we're going to skip a few parts, but I'm just going to say, uh, like... Just do, let it out. I know, right? This is the part where I'm just like, it got quiet... And I'm like, if I was watching it in like a, a theater room, everybody would have been booing, but I was just like loving it. It was that, that crossroads, basically, where, you know, the Lannister army was there. The standoff? Yeah, you know, the standoff, yeah. Like, the Lannister army was there, you know, our boys were here, and they dropped their weapons, and it's like one of those, like, oh my god, they're going to be like, they're going to like open up parts like the Red Sea and just start letting them through, aren't they? Nope. Right when we're just like... Flips the spear up and just chunks it. The moment they turn away to look at the dragon, yeah, just wrecking shit. The bells are ringing and all that, and nope, like I'm just like, nope. Greyjoy came here for revenge. Greyjoy. 
Grey Worm. <laughs> Grey Worm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't call me out of that one. Right? Grey Worm. Damn Greys. <laughs> Greys. Greys. No, shit. <laughs> Engelberg. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Grey Worm came here for revenge, man. Like. Yeah, he really did. Yeah. After the last and episode. And you could see it in his eyes, too. He was Ooh, just like. Oh, boy. Yeah. He was like. It's like pistol open a blind kid, dude. Like, they, like, they had no weapons. They dropped their swords, and all of a sudden, he's like, kill him. Just, just. Just kill him. Pistol whipping a blank. Exactly, dude. It's like, the man, dude. Wrong with you. He's just like, I'm here for revenge, all right? Yeah, my queen's up in the air flying around, but no, this I came for my reason. I came for blood. Exactly. To kill. She, you know, she did say fire and blood. She's doing the fire. He's doing the He's blood. He's got the blood. He's yeah. got the blood on lock. Mm-hmm. Well, you love that snippet. I like that The snippet. rest of it. The rest of it. I still enjoy it. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Like, we're in it like... Yeah, I know we're seeing it through everyone else's eyes, and it's like, oh my gosh, it's terror, and you're like, we, we tried to surrender, we put our hands up, yeah, but you're on the wrong side, alright, that's mm. just it. You're in the wrong city, bro. You're on the, you're on the wrong side of town, in the wrong side of the Westerosis. <laughs> yeah. yeah. East, east side. <laughs> east side, man. <laughs> Should have been on West Side. Yes. See, I'm on a point where I can uh, say the same as you, as like, I enjoyed watching it. Yeah, it was good. But here where I will trim it down, and right. someone has made a meme about this in a tweet or whatever. It's just like, that was phenomenal cinematography. Really, really, really was. Yeah, it was. And cool. there was a beautiful Wonder moment where uh, you're following Arya, and it feels just straight out of that Wonder from Children of Men, which a lot of people have said the same. Yeah. And I was like, you know, that's not a bad influence to have, all right? That's it, that's the number one Wonder yeah. of all Wonders. Um, that's pretty good. The soundtrack was awesome. You got everybody's different God. themes playing, and it, it was phenomenal. And of course, right before she just unloads on the Iron Fleet with the you know Jakaris, you heard that ramping up the yes. right before it happens. And that's I don't care how many times you do it, it's satisfying. It is all right, great. it's nipples go boop boop. All oh, right, yeah. you're good. You're you're locked in. You're like just do it. Mm-hmm. Um. Directing is great. Like, the director, Miguel, has directed several of the other major battle episodes, like Battle of the Bastards. I'm pretty sure the Battle of uh, Black, or Castle Black. Yeah. And stuff like that. And this is this is his thing. He's like the Michael Bay of the Game of Thrones. Yep. And he's only directed, you know, two this season. That's what I'm seeing he's credited as. Uh, or at least in the HBO produced behind-the-scenes stuff, they say three and five. Whereas David Nutter did one, two, and four. So, who does the final episode? I don't know. We'll see how it rolls out. Mm -hmm. Uh, But good directing. Uh, Good character. You know, cinematography, I already mentioned it. Stunt work. Holy shit. Like, the pyrotechnicians. Yes. Let's, first and foremost, you know, we're not going to shit all over this. We got to praise where this episode really did flourish. Fire! Lots of fire. Fire! (laughs) Even that one part when they were like, fire! (laughs) (laughs) I turned to you. I was like, they just got lit up, and I'm like... Yeah, he's right. At yeah. least like fire to me. That's that's fire. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, fire. It's like it's like that Ed, Ed and Eddie moment where like careful Ed the oven's hot or stove top's hot and he puts his hand on it. It's like tss, hmm 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 uh huh <laughs> yeah. It's like that. They're like fire. Fire, 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 fire! Yeah, it's fire! It's fire! Right? Oh, oh, it's fire! <laughs> I love the fire, dude. Like it's people plenty were just, of it. Oh my god, people were just like didn't know what to do. How about that beautiful moment where you're seeing shit go down on the the coastal side, and you got all the other armies waiting on the inland side, and the Golden Company is right there on the outer wall outside, mm-hmm. and you're here, boom, 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 from the background. You're you like, how's this going to go down? How's this going to come down? Is she going to come dive bombing on that side? No. Nope. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> Just blow the gate from the inside yes. out. And uh, you need to... I gotta probably show you the behind the scenes stuff on that because they really break it down. Nice. They had eight cameras on that explosion, uh, very practical. Yeah. And then they, I think they hold the record now of the most amount of people per shot that is lit on fire. Oh, it's really? Twenty two people. Twenty two people. Yeah. Oh, wow. I think they broke either it's a personal record or it's a cinem- cinematography record. I don't know. They break records. The doors. Yep. Yep. And buildings and buildings. The scorpions got fucking Dude, I know, right, They're man. gone. Yeah. Like, back Whew. in, like, a few episodes ago, well, we saw, like... Last episode. Or, oh, yeah, it was, yeah. Well, wow, it was last episode, yeah. Uh, man, weeks go by long these days. <laughs> but, uh, no yeah, joke. last episode, man, we, we were like, oh, God, they got scorpions not only on boats, they got them all along the castle walls. How yeah. are we going to get through this? One dragon. And you saw those scorpions wreck 
It just the dragon took care of the entire city. Butterfly? <laughs> I, I can't make a dragon, dude. Is there a dragon? <laughs> <laughs> That's a turkey. So I went with the goblin noises. <laughs> it's the American dragon. Exactly. Right. <laughs> We're talking a lot about the battle. Yes. There are some snippets right before. Mm -hmm. So let's not glaze over those. Yeah, I guess. High tension, dramatic moments. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I know, right? We totally skipped over Rarius dying. There we go. Yeah. I mean, like... It, fucking... Granted, he wasted no time. He was in his room, writing away. Just, just quickly. I, I imagine if he had a typewriter, he'd be like... <laughs> just, yep. No, he was penning that shit away, trying to do as much damage as possible. Do you think all those messages that I'm probably certain they're all going to, you know, like the head households of... All over the lands. Do you think those are going to come into play next episode? You know, I really hope so because it'd be a shame if he died for no reason. I mean, granted, we all knew he was going to die because, you know, even. Uh, uh, Marisandre? Marisandre, yeah. Okay, I was going to say the wrong. Missandre? Yeah, me and the wrong names. But, anyways, yeah. yeah. I've she, just learned the difference. She, <laughs> yeah. She even's like, we're both destined to die. So I was just like, alright, so he's going to die because she just. Vanish, she that will snap, so he's gonna die too. But I yeah, mean, we're both destined to die in this foreign land. Yeah, so I was just like, well, he's obviously got it coming. So he's also talking shit. So uh, I, I, he speaks the truth though, but it's still he, shit talk. He stayed true to his, you know, motive of I serve the realm. Oh yeah, and he does even, you know, use yeah. the the bragging rights of I have served more kings yeah. than yeah. anyone else alive. Oh yeah, and you're like, yeah, mm -hmm. he probably, yeah. damn, yeah. Yeah, he's right. He's right, man. He speaks the truth, but still, I mean... He even called it out last episode. It's like, under Baratheon rule, you know, at least there was, you know, peace. Yeah. Stagnant and... Man, and just I, boring, but it was peace. <laughs> I mean, he knew it was coming, but it's just, damn, it, it was... It was quick. Woo! He yeah. didn't... See, a lot of people were complaining online that he didn't scream while being burned alive. Let me point this out. Two, two, two bullet points for that point. One, it was like point blank range. And yep. we saw what point blank range does from a full ground dragon. Mm -hmm. Hell, later in this episode, we see what that dragon fire does to brick and mortar. We saw what it did to like the freaking sides of like the, 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 red, keep. Well, the, the, the red keep. The red keep had the, the tower of the hand. Yeah, it had everything. It just hit the bottom and it all just Sliced collapsed. it it's... right off. So we know what Dragonfire can do. It's and like it's like a, a samurai fucked up wedding cake kind of thing. Got it, yeah, and just like aim for the bomb and I'll just slice this off. But still, I mean, I'm pretty sure he got like a baby blast. But still, like it's a lot. It's point blank. Like he, the dragon's on his on the ground. Part part two of my bullet points of this is, I think it would do him injustice to the character in this moment that he just had. You know, his final hurrah, trying to right the the realm. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it would have really kind of ruined this moment. Granted, the, the moment isn't, you know, the greatest. Yeah, but it would have ruined the moment if it was just like, boom, and you hear, ah! Oh my God, it's so hot! Ah! No! It, we can all hopefully agree on that, right? That's true, yeah. I definitely think that way. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we get the really awkward love scene yeah just a little kissy yeah. session yeah he's still like mm, i'm not into that category in pornhub all right i'm sorry <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> wow we went there <laughs> I, I went there yes <laughs> it's game of thrones man yes. it's no surprise it should be its own category like overwatch oh boy <laughs> <laughs> so she has been kind of testing the water so you know he, he can say it all the live long day. I'm loyal. I'm, I'm yours. You're, you're my queen. Yeah. I'm loyal as fuck, man. I still love you. But. Mm -hmm. At the end of the then, day. Then she, when she, you know, pushes it. Oh, yeah. He pulls back. Yep. I knew at that very moment. It's like, she's not, she's going to kill him. Yeah. I mean, hell, the moment he told her the truth uh -huh. in the catacombs, in the oh, crypt, yeah. she didn't go, really? Or, are you sure? Or, Wow. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm your auntie. No, her first prerogative is, you have a better claim than me. Oh, yeah. You, you can fuck this up for me. Basically. And what did I have been saying? That one trait. The Mad Queen. And that's what they're writing to make this happen, the Mad Queen, Descent and all that. Yeah. How do you feel about her, her, do you think it was rushed or justified? This, this turn of villainy, you know, so to speak. Honestly, like, here's the fan talking right now. It's Go for like it. It's like the whole, like, man, it is rushed. Be 
But at the same time, knowing that I only have, you know, one more episode left, like, if we had all ten episodes, then... It'd it, probably feel way better. a lot better, but I'm not liking that whole... It's, it, it really is just too rushed, and it's just kind of hard to... Pacing is fast. Though. Yeah, it's just kind of hard to, like, really get behind it and all, but, you yeah. know... I, I can see what they're trying to go for, but at the same time, I'm just like, you know, yeah, it's all right. Yeah. See, this is coming from a company that can argue, you could probably argue it has an infinite budget. Yeah. You know, it's, it, became, budget. it became the number one television show, yeah. television show ever, not just cable. Yeah. Ever. Ever. It is the top torrented one too. Yeah. And it's like the last top. TV show was also HBO, The Whole Sopranos. That's yeah. It, it was also HBO. Like HBO has Huge. a really good track record of making good stuff. But they also have a bad track record of when it comes to the final step, they yeah. trip. Yeah. Like a lot of people complained about the Sopranos fin- finale. Yeah. If I remember hearing right, I never watched it though. I plan on watching it yeah. because the rest of the body of the show I hear is phenomenal, and it's yeah. worth watching just for that. And I would say the same for Game of Thrones. Yeah. It's, you know, pr- it, prior to uh, season eight, episode three, solid. Yeah. Totally solid. The the writing, everything you could get behind. But it just it's not it just feels almost rushed, but at the same time it's also like, hey, when we only have so few episodes left, we kinda gotta make it stretch to connect the dots and please everybody. Which I you know very few shows that last this long actually have good endings. I mean Yeah. I mean well Breaking Bad did. Breaking Bad, but even granted that one only had six seasons. You yeah. Know, this is eight seasons, so Well, I mean, it's still the one that a lot of people like to point out is like this yeah. is how you show a true descent into villainy yeah this is how you show something that in the in the universe's time space uh you know it's not a whole lot's going on we're watching this you know in seasons and it's coming out but for them it's all within a year in breaking bad except for the jump at the final season yeah that's and, exactly right. and game of thrones it's kind of different it's stretched out so the moment like last season which had seven episodes mm-hmm. to save time they fast traveled and it's just started popping up you know to get to the storytelling and all that yeah Whereas, I, I, I here, I get that. I understand that. Yeah. It's like, get, get to the meat of it. All right? I, I, yeah. You want to tell the story? I don't mind that. The yeah. fast travel, when people are like, those bullshit just popping up everywhere, right? No, yeah. that's not it. Come on. We've watched enough shows. We've seen yeah. enough movies. We fucking understand this bit. It doesn't have to be Lord of the Rings trilogy. Why don't they just use the Eagles, man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the same asshole that, you know, it's like, I don't like the fast travel. Exactly. Right? It's like, I mean, dude, it's it's not real. It's just a TV show. It's a good TV show. Yeah. But come on, man. Just, I'm along for the ride. You know, we, we get the same, we're on the same page here. But so when on. you're trimming it in, you know, this, this travel time trimming, I understand that, you know, trimming Makes that fat. But they're cutting deeper, and this is where people are starting to go, hold up. Yeah. You're ruining the fucking meat. Yeah, and now you're doing it wrong. Oh, man. So this is like, you know, cooking a prime rib, and you're watching somebody just, like, take all the fat off and then fling it into the trash, and they're just eating yeah. the lean meat. Mm-hmm. And you're like, motherfucker. Yeah. That, that's, that, that. It's just, it's like one of those, like, why you do this? Why you do this? Why man? you do this? Why, why can't have nice things? You can't have prime rib no more. I know, right? And I hope. You know, HBO doesn't act that way after this. And it's like, you know, you didn't like Game of Thrones' final season. Fuck you. We're not going to try anything cool anymore. Yeah, all right. And that's sad because we have Watchmen coming up this mm-hmm. fall. Anyways, I, I I agree with the vast majority of the writing is lackluster. And it's kind of this weird, like, we were doing this fun maze run with the J.R. Uh, source material. And we it, dipping and weaving and having a fun traverse through this maze. And then come around when they passed the books and they didn't have the source material, they tried to carry it on for a little while, and then they're like, I'm pretty sure the exit's nearby, so let's just fucking cut through this shit. And yeah. they're cut through the hedges. And you can't do that. This is the... We just want to tell this story and get on with our lives, because I don't know if you know this, but David and Dan are making a new Star Wars trilogy. Yeah. They're signed up for that. Yeah. And, of course, a lot of people were calling us like, great, they're going to go fuck up Star Wars and ruin Star Wars. <laughs> Whereas I'm the dude who's already standing in lines like... They're, Star Wars already fucked up, by the way. Yeah, no, right? Jar Jar Binks ruined that one, all right? Oh, well, it's not going that Well, it, it, it's... It, once again, a slow descent into villainy. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> but okay. but it was stretched out. That's for a different episode. <laughs> I do plan on filming something about my feelings about Star Wars. All right. I do that, plan that's... on that. But anyways, this is Game of Thrones That's right for now. later. Yeah, Game of Thrones now. Hey, Jonathan. What's up? Here's a fun little piece of trivia. What's up? Okay, so Dave, uh, David and Dan. Mm-hmm. D&D. Yes. David Benioff is the main screenwriter for X-Men Origins Wolverine. Does really? Th- does this surprise really? you? Really? Yep. 
He was also what? the main screenwriter for the movie Troy. So I'm conflicted. Yeah. <laughs> I love the fuck out of Troy. Troy was cool, but. Oh, uh, Wolverine's origin story. <laughs> I didn't make it to the credit section if you're that's dressed. You dipped out, huh? <laughs> that's <laughs> why you didn't know. <laughs> you didn't go, huh? Yeah. Okay. No, no, man. Because I mean, fuck. We even we even called out Troy like a few episodes back. We're we like, did. Dude, that's just like a Troy. I I don't know why I finally de- dove into like uh, Dan. Uh, why he hasn't done shit except for Game of Thrones, really? Yeah. And of course, what that gave him, uh, you know, that inority and lined up his future projects, including the Star Wars one. But David, and I hate sharing the name with this motherfucker now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. You're bringing a bad name He's to us, a David. David. Fucking shit. <laughs> I changed my name to Sapphire. <laughs> and uh, just, oh, okay. So, mm-hmm. it's kind of like when I look at the writers of. Uh, that tag along with J uh, J J Abrams, like they did Mission Impossible three, and everybody can point that as that's when Mission Impossible became fucking awesome. Yeah. But then they're also the writers that went on and did the Star Trek one and two remakes. You know, Into Darkness is the second sequel, and then just figured off and a lot of other like head scratchers are like, wait, what the fuck were they thinking? I know, right? <laughs> you you can obviously tell where their strengths are. It's like uh, espionage action yeah. on Earth. You do fucking phenomenal. All right, dope, yeah. Man, yeah. But then when they start getting out of their realm, you're like, Space. you're like, what the fuck? So this is where I give David some credits. Like he wrote Troy. Mm-hmm. He's probably not the only writer, but he's apparently he's one of the writers, writer. if not the main writer. And when then he was one of the creators, the showrunners for Game of Thrones, and it was all running smooth with source material. You're like, he's kind of in his lane, you know? Yeah, he knows something. He's you know he's had fun. But then when you look, he did Wolverine. You're like, um. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. That's the virus. That it didn't get no oh, fuck. Yeah. And so they went more cinematic and more fantasy. Yeah. Because we can agree George Martin even though it's classified fantasy, it doesn't embrace that genre. No. And the moment we were past that, it's gone full full tilt fantasy. Yeah. So this is probably where it goes a little wrong is you needed to stick with that more down to earth gritty. Yeah. Probably just looking at it. it was like a lot of people were actually confused when they were first introduced to Game of Thrones and they thought it was a medieval piece. Yeah. They're like, know. oh, is this like King Arthur kind of shit in yeah. England? Yeah, it was like, oh, this is an entirely fictional world, bro. Yeah. And they're like, what? I don't see no like high elves and orcs and, you know. Yeah. They call him a dwarf, but just because he's short. Yeah, I know, right? This is like, yeah, but it's as much fake and yeah. fictitious as Middle Earth is. Mm-hmm. And it's sad because that has to be the direct uh, draw for a lot of fantasy fans. Oh. They're like, Game of Thrones rivals Lord of the Rings, and then all of a sudden, no, no, not anymore, no, 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 it's out. Yeah. And the biggest argument is redemption arcs, or full, full, full-fledged full character arcs. They are dropping the ball on the character arcs. Yeah. We were feeling good about Jamie yeah, earlier this yeah. season. Yeah, we really did. And then last episode happened. Yeah. And he's like, mm, no, you don't got that stank like I like. I like my sister. I watched that out of Pornhub's <laughs> category. Yeah. I'm like, Jon Snow. I saw his browser history. It's boring as fuck. Yeah, I know, right? I dip out. I need, I need <laughs> that. Ant not spicy enough. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> fuck and shit. So it's just like a lot of people immediately call out. They're like, this doesn't feel right. Like, we've had seven seasons mm-hmm. of a redemption arc for Jamie. Just for him to go back and color as they get buried alive. Yeah. You thought, like, when he's going through King's Landing trying to get in and he snags a sword. If that was his goal to just get to her, would the sword be necessary? I mean, maybe for the Queen's Guard if they tried to pull something or something or other. Or a Lannister troop or whatever. Yeah, yeah that could be that argument could be made. But honestly, the moment I saw him grab that sword, what I was hoping for... Got, I got some uh, a, a bit of hope. Yeah. A flame of hope. I was like, oh, I want him to kill her. Yeah. How much of a full circle would that be? It would have been great. Like, if he would just went for, like, a belly gut, you know, kind of slice. Yeah. yeah. Like, and I know. was honestly waiting for her to be like, there is no child. I was using it to fuck with everybody. Basically. But, I mean. While fucking just... everybody. <laughs> yeah. So, that would have actually, if that would have went out, went down, like I was hoping. Even that awkward scene last uh, episode where he was dipping out. Yeah. 
would have made sense. Yeah, because we were like, oh my god, he's going to kill Cersei. Like, nope. It just ruined. Like, this is like uh, teasing. This is edging. You're teasing. She's teasing you, and then, all right, I gotta go to work. Bye. Yeah, and just. Babe, don't leave. What? <laughs> See, unlike Jamie, I'm coming back yeah. and doing the right thing and finishing this review. <laughs> oh, I will make you finish. Not you. Them. This review. Yes. Exactly. Yes. I like that category, too. <laughs> One more episode, though, after this. Then there'll be a, you know, season finale. And then oh, Cersei, mm-hmm. we both kind of, I, I, I checked with you. It was like, is that how you feel she should have gone out? No. No. I mean... You would have preferred my method, or my idea of Jamie? Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, I, I would have rather have, like, you know, her going out, like, more authoritarian, you know, like, maybe just, like, on, like... Define... You know, yeah, kind of like the whole, like, at a stalemate, like, standing somewhere, like, out in the open, just waiting for her death, and then, like, you know, just maybe the dragon swooping down, and then, you know, having the one-off, like, little back talk, and then just... Some dialogue? Jacarius and, and then burn him or something. No, it, it was just kind of, it was like, damn, that's how she died? Like, this this evil bitch. Lackluster. All she does gets buried alive, which, I mean, it's it's missing something, man. Like, it's like we were all afraid of her. We were all like, ooh, man, she's going to do something. Yep. She's got to, no, she just got buried alive. I'm, I mean, everything got redirected from the Night King to her, and then this Daenerys villainy turn point. Yeah, I know, right? You know, you could see where they had that meeting where they're like, Ooh, ooh, ooh! What if she went Mad Queen? So we can ooh. we can make every we can make everybody think. Oh, Night King! Oh, wait, no, Night King ain't the big baddie. Cersei is. Wait a minute, Cersei ain't the big baddie. Daenerys is. Yes, we're our own big baddies. Oh, actually, that is a little bit of a theme in this. You even see. A shots that really highlight this that war is hell you know, yeah. We, 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 you know. yeah it didn't glorify it at all right? and and didn't glorify the northern men have you noticed that there oh. are some shots and, and like, the way it's composed is you're seeing the good guys now act like bad guys, bad guys and yeah. there's even a shot of a lannister soldier after all hell's broken loose you know after you know gray worms like fuck this and, and started the charge and everything yeah uh there's a lannister soldier who's like trying to get innocent people Rally out of the way people, getting them out, you're yeah. seeing him do something like what we saw a moment ago yeah. with davos like come on everybody Heroic. you know like hey i'm gonna save exactly. as many as i can see this is where that yeah. that that bullet point of good cinematography good visual storytelling yeah because i mean like <laughs> everything else like I mean, yeah, we see them like you know the northern men do all the bad stuff. Like you know, he was about to rape that rape, woman. Yeah, rape was one you know indiscriminate murder. Like man, like they they're out for blood. They're exactly. blood bloodlust. Yeah, I mean, like granted, if I was just like you know a citizen there, just like minding about my own business, I never voted for the king. You know, like that don't mean <laughs> nothing. You're still there. You're still there. You're you're screwed, man. Like these aren't your saviors. But still. Like, so when Russia declares war, we go, I didn't vote for him, but fuck, I'm still sitting here. I'm still here, so. Shit. I, yeah, I guess so, but I mean. Learn, practice your Russian now. Yeah, I know, right? Privet. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Bozhe <Bullshit> moi. <laughs> Bush moi? I, bo- what? I thought it was Bush moi. I don't know what fuck. you're saying. I, I, I isn't speak. it like the Russian equivalent of, ah, oh, shit. I. Or, ah, oh, fuck. I don't speak Russian yet. So. Oh, Bozhe moi. Yes. What was the version you? I thought it was just Bush Moy. Bush Moy? I, I just. Am I adding too much accent to it? Probably. Fuck. Okay. I don't know. I've been saying it for years too because I think uh, Natasha Romanoff says it. Oh, yeah. At one point. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote I heard, me. I heard that. it somewhere. I'm not Russian, so. I mean, we are if, you know, oh. the KGB is watching. Yeah. Um, Where's your, your sleeper agent? No, yeah, no. No, I can't go that far. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway. Well, I was going to go the route of like, well, I'm not a writer for season 8 of Game of Thrones. Like, there you go. I'm not rushing Definitely. anything. Definitely. Nope. David Hill and, or Dave Hill and uh, Brian Cogman, they had the right idea. Mm-hmm. Those first two episodes were great. I wish we would have just had them the whole time. It's really weird. It's almost like David and Dan were like, those sound like the boring bits. We want to write the fun shit. Yeah. Let's you guys see. go to that room. We'll go into that room. And we're going to come up, meet up later, and, like, try to ideas. Our story's going to be better. <laughs> yeah, that's how it feels. Yeah, it really, almost. <laughs> it also feels like, you know, because they're the showrunners, they probably threw the weight. What if there was a writer's room meeting, and the main writers were like, 
wait a minute. We 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 need to do this. Yes. This you know, is, this is what the people want. Finale, this is what bro. this is appropriate storytelling. You know. Yeah. Okay. You guys keep. I see this big old chalkboard you have, and all you have written all over it is subvert expectations. I don't. Yeah. I don't understand why that's your only goal. Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you killing the Night King? Cool. But you need to give the other meters in this a little more slack. You know. Yeah. You know, at least get John there. Hell, it would have been fucking cool if John and the Night King were facing off and he was getting pinned down by the Night King and almost killed. And then Arya did that swooping in behind. Ba-cha! Wouldn't that have been dope? Or even like Theon, even though he's wounded, mortally wounded, if he just like pulls out a, a knife. From somewhere, just... Or a knife or and a got knife. for the thigh or some shit. I don't know. Anything. There's so many options. You feel like that writer's room went. <laughs> you go to that room, we're going to this room. That's how you feel. There's a divide. <laughs> oh, shit. It's almost 5 o'clock. All right, you know what? Just just wrap it up. Whatever that sticky note says, just take, take it at the bottom. Staple it and send it off. We're good. Re- yeah, for <laughs> reals. <laughs> for reals. They're like, should we put dialogue? No, no. We need to do this. No time for words, man. Come on. Six episodes. Six episodes, Come guys. Six episodes. Come on. <laughs> Six episodes. What are we missing here? The Hound in the Mountain. Good game, boy. Oh, man. Well, we got that, and I'm satisfied with that, honestly. Oh, my God. And they did put some uh, extra work in to make sure the visuals were fucking epic. This is almost like borderline. Epic. Like, it's almost as if we went back to Return of the Jedi, and you got that showdown between Luke and Darth Vader. Yep. And then he popped off Darth Vader, but he still stayed a villain. And then, meanwhile, the Death Star's being wrecked, and it's on fire, and it's just falling apart, and you have this awesome fight and all that. That... That's how I felt. I felt good, man. I'm not gonna lie. In my head, I was doing the whole. Dun, 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 <laughs> Damn! I sh- someone yeah. needs to edit that shit. I was doing that in my head, and because the moment like they just drew sword or well, the hound Sabers. drew his sword. <laughs> the hound drew his sword. I was like, Mountain's gonna win. He's got the high ground. I, Someone's already made that meme. I'm for, oh really? Oh, yeah, I won. saw it this morning. I, I honestly was just like, oh man, I've seen Star Wars. Mountain's gonna win this fight. <sighs> well. Who would you say is the winner? There is no winners in the game of Thrones. We are the winners. Because we, we got Clue Game Bowl. Yes. And it was, it was actually pretty satisfying. It was really satisfying. I'm not going to lie. I, I loved it. Like You had the your, your good old uh, straight from the playbook mountain moves. Like yeah. bashing the head and then trying to do yeah. the Oberyn Martell thing with yeah. the eyes. Like, dude, whenever he did that, I actually was like in the back just like, because I don't like eye stuff. But, yeah, no, neither do I. But dude, he was getting lifted by his head. Through his eyeballs off the ground. Yeah, it's not. First he was on the throat, but yeah. eventually he moved it to the eyes, and he still had him hold yeah, up. Imagine like, that. I'm like, oh. ah, ah, no, no. But dude, like, ah, dude, it was just so great. Like the yeah. whole fight, like you just saw, like the mountain sword just coming in. It was like it was embedding itself into the pillars and the walls, brick walls like butter, dude. Dude, like, wow. And th- that's where the sound editing. You hear that. Boom. Kind of like yes. impactful, like oh! <laughs> it didn't like bounce off. It was <laughs> it embedded. It was that fucking was, brutal. It was like you don't want to like uh uh-uh, uh don't do that don't do that no no just just roll out. Just keep like, dodging. Just roll. Be like Braun. <laughs> roll. And there was also a really cool shot where they finally did have swords meet. Yeah. And it wasn't like a bounce off or a parry. It was like a yes. kind of thing when it transitioned into another shot elsewhere or something like that. Yeah. You felt that. You're like, oh, yes, fuck, oh, nice. I'm as hard as a diamond in a blizzard. I'm not gonna lie, it was like <laughs> one of the best sword fights I've like in any movies ever. Like, it was pretty damn awesome. Man. It's up there. It well like, choreographed. Wow. And in the behind scenes video clips they do, mm-hmm. they did show a, a, a whole shot of what they did when he was choking him instead of the eyeballs. He was at the choking. They, he really did choke him. Yeah. They were they went that far into like kind of like the whole Malfoy thing in the third Harry Potter. He's like, just punch me for real. Punch me in the nose Give for me a real. real. Punch. He's just like, all right, we're gonna harness you. We'll lift you up. And he's like, no, 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 choke me out, motherfucker. Let's do this. Yeah, no, right. This is the world's strongest man. <laughs> he won that. He won that uh, championship. Yeah. The, the he's hound to, is that badass. I'm just, he was like, do it, bro. Just do it, man. Bitch. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> does, does brother out does brother even lift? <laughs> yup. <Yeah. laughs> does that lift? Oh fuck. Does that lift? So I'm happy with that. I was 
I was enjoying that like I, that's so one, much. That's one of the like check aways. You're like, oh, mm. okay, they hit that mark. They hit that point. God, thank you. Yes, thank you. Well, the very any... beginning, we were like, yes, that's what we need, and it was phenomenal. I, I couldn't tell you how long we've been saying Clue Game Bowl in anticipation. Oh, You're like, God, man, yeah. there's T-shirts and posters and memes and stuff like that, and then we got it. Yeah. It was epic looking. Mm-hmm. It was an epic fight. And the conclusion, you know, honestly, works for me. Because he even says it in dialogue, which also works for me. He's like, all I have is revenge. Yes. There's nothing left left for me but death. Mm-hmm. It drove him to the end. And that's all he wanted left in life. Oh, yeah. E- even during their festivities, and he's like, I don't fucking care. I'm eating and drinking only because I need to. Yep. You get that only sense. Only because he's hungry and he's just like, I need a drink. Right? Yeah. But the only thing he wants left in life is, I need to kill that motherfucker. Oh, yeah. And he did, so. He did. Phenomenal. Good job, yeah. Sandor. Which, it also sounded like she said sandal. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, is there a better take? Like, a little better enunciation, maybe? Yeah. Sandor? Sander? Sandor? Sandal? Crocs? <laughs> Look out. That's our cousin. <laughs> oh, Crocs click. <laughs> oh, boy. Any other satisfying moments that is like you, you were hoping for and they checked it off in this episode? Or is that really the only one? I mean, the only other thing you could think of would be like the little standoff between uh, Jamie and uh, the other Greyjoy. Euron? Euron. Yeah. I mean, I'll call it out on probability. It's just like, of all people to wash up on shore, at whatever moment... Yeah. Of all parts of that shore to roll up. And it was like a very it's, narrow thing. It was yeah. like a cave almost. And, and it's very cinematic. Yeah. Like. It's like, oh no, the epic climax. Pinpointing it's, characters to yeah. meet just to meet sake. You know? Yeah, no, right. It, it was that kind of like typical Hollywood thing. Like, really? Fucking yeah. serious? seriously? No, okay. No. It was one of those. Like, I was like, it was cool to watch, but it was really it wasn't satisfying. So it just. Ooh, when he got that stab in. He got the stab in. I felt it, though. That was I'm a, that was a ooh, that fuck way. moment. Yeah, oof. It, it hurt. I was hoping he'd bash his head in with his with hand. With his hand, yes, I know. I wish he would have done that. I so was hoping he'd just like, was it this one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just backhand bitch slap that motherfucker. But no, man, he just like, sword, ninja, impale. Yeah, was, I was, the first time I was watching, I was like, do it again. <laughs> Higher up. Not, stop, no. Nah. You know, just come on. Take his head off. He's right there on a stone. I just know, right? hear He's the just, clank. Ah. Okay. We 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 could agree that that was a fight that I didn't really think would happen, yeah. and I really didn't think of. But I mean, I I'm glad that it happened. I'm, I appreciate it for what it was, but I'm just like it's like know. if I wanted anyone to fight Euron other than Theon. Yeah, which would have been another cool way to tie up his really successful redemption arc. Even the fact that he died in a really shitty battle in a shitty way. Yeah. Uh, you could still be like, you know what? No, it it was it was complete. It was you know what? I accept it. Yeah. But any other person other than Theon to fight Euron, I would have pinned it on Jamie. No. I was like, yeah, fuck his shit up. Yeah. But the likeliness, the probability of this, it if was... they had their fight in some kind of different scenario or different place in time, like if he would have made it in, was going through the the damn catacombs and all that, but uh, you know, he's making his way and there's rubble and blocking him and then. Right behind him, you, you see he was being tailed. Mm-hmm. That, that, that would have worked. That would have made more sense. Other than, like, just washing up from shore, like, hey, we gotta go rescue our queen. He's literally wiping the salt out of yeah. his eyes. He's like, hey, King, King Slayer, <laughs> let's fight. <laughs> <laughs> one me, one me, bro. I'm good. I'm all rested enough. You need rest. I don't need rest. I just swam from way, you see way over there? Way over there, way over there. Yeah, I'll swim all my guys, too. <laughs> They're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> they all drown. Fuck, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I know, right? <laughs> some some parts of that, you're like, okay. But then when you're like, well, damn. Yeah. It was kind of a, a good misstep. If that's, you know, it's a paradox. Happy accident? I don't know. It's weird. It's a it's an oxymoron. And I will, yeah, that's where I will leave that little fight is. That's an oxymoron. It was a good kind of battle. It was almost borderline like, Saving Private Ryan hand to hand kind of moments, but then they had to move again. Yeah, they yeah. it would have been awesome if there was a moment like he stabbed him. He was on top of him when he got stabbed. Instead of him like, oh, 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 and then rolled off, that would have been the moment. Where like motherfucker, bam, 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 bam. I know, 
bash his motherfucking head in with their hands. Either that or just grab a rock. They're all over the place. God. Just, ah. Ah. It's whatevs. It's whatevs. I mean, it's still cool because Euron is a cool guy. He did even go out. He was know, a hell of a character. He even went out, you know, shit talking. He was like, I kill the Kingslayer. So, there was a review guy I saw. He was like, that was breaking the fourth wall. He like said that to the camera. I was like, no, idiot. No, I didn't see that. I'll call it out. It was Angry Joe. Yeah. Uh, he was like, that was that what took me out of it. Him talking straight to the camera. He's like, oh, I'm the man who killed Jamie Lannister. He's like, he was saying it to the fans like, hey, fuck you. He's like, no, that was not a fourth wall break. That was just a camera choice that, honestly, if you just changed the angle a little bit, you would have totally understand. It was just a high up angle. Him looking to the sky is like, ah. I killed Jamie Lannister. Yeah. I never got that sense of fourth wall breaking, I did you? No. Thank J- Angry Joe, please. Please. Just bitching the bitch about weird little tiny things. Yeah. We're going all over the place. You know, we started with some fantastic high notes. And now we're kind of talking about finer points. And we're not even fooling shitting on them. We're just like, man, that was an epic fight. But it should have, like. Yeah, but it could have It could have gone better. It should have gone. Like, we really wanted him to bash his fucking... fucking I did. God, Everyone did. That I mean, hand. Don't tell me you didn't want... That would have been, like, full circle for the hand's redemption arc. <laughs> know, right? The hand's like, let me in, let me in. Yeah, gotta hand it to you. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> uh, yes. I would have gave him... You know, yeah. Give him a hand. Yeah, no, right? You would have been an also cool little moment. Mm. It was like Braun showed up. That would have been... Yeah, that, that would have been cool. I mean, granted, Braun's smart enough to, like... Stay away from battles. He's like, oh shit, look, the city's on fire. I'm going this way. Where's that castle? Yeah, where, where's that castle? <laughs> hey, you whore, just, I'm going to hang out with you for a bit. <laughs> that's that's his style. I like Braun for that reason. But, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I want Braun, but then when I bring it up, I I do have the internal con- uh, conflict of, but gonna, where? Yeah, yeah. Where would I put him? Where would it be right? Like, he can't be, like, the hero that rides up out of nowhere and nope. saves the this day for Jamie. This is Game of Thrones. The other place is going to six feet under. Oh, bitch. Fuck. No joke. Yeah, I know, right? Everyone dies here. <laughs> Felt good. So, who did die? We got Cersei and Jamie died. Yep. Under uh, the Red Keep. Yep. This, uh, the spider. Uh, the Varys. Varys. Well, yeah, at the beginning. Oh, fucking uh, Quinburn. Oh. Full on Frankenstein and Frankenstein's monster kind of story of killed by his own creation kind yeah, of shit. That that is pretty. Fun. That was a cool, satisfying kill. It was pretty quick too. He just throws them and just like like that a head, watermelon. That just, head, <laughs> wow. It was twice. First of the thrust and then the throw. Yep, that was good. It was brutal. Was good. I had a huge theory that like while that was going down and he kept dipping in and out of the the balcony room where Cersei is, uh, kind of informing her on shit. I was kind of hoping when the moment we knew Arya was in the Red Keep area that he dipped in again. And he's like, your grace, all is lost. And then she rips it off. And it was Quint, you know, she was hiding his Quinburn and like took his face. That would have been cool. Like that would have been like a fuck yeah. But what if like uh, that wasn't a killing blow? The mountain was hanging out in the back of the room. He reacts, takes a swing at Arya. She dodges. And then that's when the hound comes in, you know, and you can still have Clue Game Bowl. Yeah. If I was to write this, that's how I would have wrote that out. Yeah. We got an Arya moment that we were, like, aching for. We're like, yeah, fucking stab the bitch, fucking guy. Damn. And what if, like, uh, you had this conflicting moment, like, Clue Game Bowl's going down, and Arya is trying to get Cersei, but she dips out of one door, and she can't get around the fight. And then, like, as she's about to go through the door, finally getting around them, Sees a, like a, a dire moment for uh, Sandor and like has that confliction moment. And then like, you know how I wrote it out? It's like she squares up to help him. But then he, he like shoves off the mountain or something like that. Gets distance. Gets his footing again. Turns to her and is like, send your fight girl. Yeah, that would be cool. And then she'd be like. And then like he closes the door on her or something like that. that yeah, cool. yeah. There you go. Yeah. Wrapped up. And then she chases after Cersei, and that's where Cersei meets up with, like, Jamie. Yeah. And, like, what if he was, like, cuffing her, but kind of from arm's distance, and then Arya shows up, and he, they both look up and see her there, and they're like, oh, shit, oh, shit. Uh, and then you could have that defiant moment you want from Cersei. Yeah. Like, a tired, like, no. No. <laughs> My child will be A-OK. And, like, tr- gets yeah. between her, uh, gets between Jamie and Arya, and she, like, stands there. I don't know what the dialogue would be, but this is the blocking I have in mind. And then, from behind, Jamie does it. Yeah. That would 
That'd be good. That. Good. What do you guys think? Please tell me in the comments. I'm a writer, and this is kind of like I can't help but think this way. It's like honestly, if I was, you know, fingers to keys for this shit, how would I have done it? Yeah. And you're the best person to talk like to about that. this. Yeah. So, I like this. This is good. Yeah? Yeah, I don't know. Tell us. Tell maybe, us. maybe I'll rewrite the season 8 if you liked it. Tell us. Yeah, tell, tell us. In the comments below, please. Mm-hmm. I think that's everything, bro. I think that's all good. I, I mean, mean how do you good. think the next episode is going to roll out? Oh, boy. I have no idea. Honestly, I want to say it'll pick up. You know, right where she, you know, she, yeah, they're you know they're just like all getting back, and John's like, "What the fuck was that? Like, what the hell?" You guys? think he's gonna have that? I, he's gonna have to have that moment. I mean, he tried stopping the troops. He tried, you know, he tried making sure everyone retreated first and all. It just, I want him to like go up there and be like, "Yo, we came here to stop her, not to destroy a city." And all those innocents. And all those. Innocents. Even though he didn't verbally agree with Tyrion, he still understood like you know the bells ring. I mean, he's, they surrender. Yeah, he's a good guy. Even though he didn't go okay or not or anything like that, he was just like, ah, "We gotta get to this fight." Yeah. I also call this as a Tyrion final flip moment. It's like before he dies. This no, this is like a whole like. Yeah. Varys was right. I sh- I should be backing John. Yeah. Fuck. We can die. And of course, she told him, "If you fail me again, it's the last oh, time you done. fail me." Done. Get out of here, kid. And I'm like, God damn this. Yeah. He is being held in place by fear. Uh-huh. Like Sansa called him out. He's stuck. He's a rock in a hard place, basically. So, fuck. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm going to see him maybe try to back John in some way. Mm-hmm. Cleverly. Obviously, yeah. But, I mean, it's, it's going to be good. You I got that know. big black dragon. That's a, that's hanging out. and That's a huge motivator. It's to, a city destroyer right there. It really was. It's holy shit. <sighs> Wow. You know, if we would have saw more moments from all the dragons playing out like this, you would start feeling the weight of, like, fuck, dragons do wreck shit. Just like her ancestors when they rolled up and, and you know, put the first men into order. You yeah. know? You really kind of, like, get glimpses of what it really would have looked like. You're like, oh, shit. Mm-hmm. And imagine there was three of them with three riders. Or, yeah. technically, if I remember my lore correctly, it was four? Mm-hmm. Like, the the first... Or, or her son Targaryen had three sister wives that had their own dragons and then he had his dragon wow. so maybe there was four at some point or maybe it was three and he had like two sister wives or something like that it was sister wives you know Pornhub and yes. uh <laughs> but anyways it, it, yeah and next season honestly Arya's got a new name yeah. on her list it has gotta be Danny now yeah so we're, that's probably the uh, a to do list of what to expect yeah John turning Obviously. He, he probably still doesn't want the throne, but he doesn't want... <sighs> He's going to get it eventually. This carnage. Regardless. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe yeah. maybe he will turn and it stops, but he doesn't get it. Yeah. Let, let's, like, they both die. Let's just hope it's, you know... I think that's what's more likely. Let's just hope it starts off good. Instead of, like, a slow little banter. Here, here's what we'll know. Or what... You, this will be a thing that, once we see it, we'll know what to kind of expect, I think. Is when that opening credits goes by and we see all that cool shit, you know, spinning around the gyroscope and all that and yeah. hanging out in the terrain and all that, which then it goes to black and that's the credits that are individual per episode and you see written by. If it says written by David and Dan, yep. we probably know what to expect. All right. And then I don't know what that director's credit would be, but that would be kind of a second marker what to expect. I'm telling you this, if it shows... Written for the screen by David and Dan. Mm-hmm. Directed by David and Dan. I'm going to fucking flip a table. Yeah, I know, right? I'm going to fucking flip a table. They were just fucking off this last season. Doing little cameos, hanging out at the par- after party. Yeah, with the big old beards. And just bullshitting us and all that. Fuck me. What ifs? I swear, bro. I swear. I'm tempted to record a reaction video for the whole episode. Right. I'm tempted as fuck. I mean, you can't post it. Except for in snippets. Like the major moments, but... Oh, yeah. Fuck. Alright. That's our review. Yep. We Sounded. went. We went for like 15... Well, almost 15 minutes. Well, we were bullshitting at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah. Really cool. I, you know, still visually pleasing. It's still awesome. good. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'll, I'll, I'll rewatch the whole season, obviously. Yeah. yeah I'm still... I yeah. probably will, too. Most definitely. Mm-hmm. Uh... So. This is this is uh this is high budget 
production, yeah. and it is eye candy, all things considered. Quality. Yeah, it's quality eye candy. Right. Thank you, John. Yep. Thank you, David. Thank you, everybody. Mm-hmm. And uh, we'll catch you guys next week for the finale. All right. Whew. Mm-hmm. Later. Adios. <laughs>